Hello, Professor. Uh, this is Ren. Uh, I will begin my presenta presentation right now. Uh, this time I choose three uh, forensic tools. Uh, they are MDF wheeler tools and the user assistant tools and the crown cake wheels. So uh, I think you already noticed that my uh, on uh, on my desktop, you know, uh, there was uh, some Chinese words because my operating system, uh, the language version is Chinese and it cannot be changed to English, so uh, just leave it. Okay, uh, first I will show you the MDF viewer tools. Uh, these tools is uh, kind of tools trying to recover the database files from uh, you know corruption and something uh, goes wrong with your database and there was some important uh, data data in store store in your data database files and for the uh, you know forensic investment uh, the the user can use to use these tools to find out uh, some people want to you know. They want to dis destroy some evidence, and uh, they want to hide something from somewhere. Okay, uh, when we open these tools, and uh, oh, this by the way, these tools is especially for the MS SQL database file. So you can see here. Okay, so first thing, uh, we have to cho choose the uh, database file you want to recover. Click the button, and. Uh, uh, since I already tried to uh, try several times uh, play with these tools, so I already find uh, already got some you know samples to demonstrate this uh, how to use these tools. So we um, choose one. Uh, they are all uh, all of them are SQL Server database uh, primary data files. So uh, we just choose the body ledger uh, ledger example, and uh, we click next. Uh, here, uh, he prompts you to confirm. Do you wish to start recover? Reply yes. And right here, um, the 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 application prompts you to choose the SQL Server version uh, you have. So, uh, because I used the SQL Server 2014, uh, and there was no, uh, it's not in this list. So we, I just choose the latest one. So SQL Server 2008. But after uh, several times I tried this application, it doesn't matter whatever uh, you use the uh, your database uh, version. So just choose the 2008. It's fine. It, it will be fine. Okay. Uh, forget about this information. Attention. Some sense. Kind of thing. Blah blah blah. And we press OK. So here it's the database uh, after recover by these these tools. So. Uh, you can see there was user tables, system tables, uh, wheels, and something else, and stored, uh, stored uh, procedures, uh, and some, uh, a lot of things. So we expanded this uh, option, and uh, you can see uh, there was the t uh, table's name and the page contain, and uh, kind of a lot of things. So we click one of them, and there was some, um, you know, uh, we click the machine. Uh, Games. Uh, there was the data uh, store in there, and uh, we can preview the data we we uh, which we want to recover. And uh, we close this, and we can see. Uh, we we'll try to see the wheels. The wheels. Uh, you can see here. Uh, actually, they recover the wheels. Uh, they recover the SQL script from of these wheels. So. Uh, here you can see the these wheels are uh, CH08 following same uh, zip code and the, here is the SQL script. You can just click it and uh, right click it and the copy and then you can go back to your SQL Server uh, Management Studio and run it and to recover the you know you know the wheels and and anything else. And you can see uh, we try to see the store procedure. And then you can see a lot of things. Uh, let me try to uh, can find one. We can find. Let me find something. Um, uh, I'm not sure what's happened with this time, but actually, I uh, previous I I. I tried this uh, several times before, 
uh, and there was uh, also uh, some store procedure, and she and it will uh, show up that right there, and still as the still show as the you know the SQL Server uh, description, and then uh, we we review the the recovered data, and we click the next, and here you can. Uh, Select uh, which uh, recover mode and destination setting, and any and everything. And add, uh, you can set the destination directory and then something else, and uh, you finish the. Actually, you don't have to, you know, uh, you know, you, you just choose the direction where you want to save the recovered data. So that's it, and you click the next. And you can choose which part you want to recover, and when you finish all the things and start. Click the start recover. So um, any anyway um this uh, this software actually it's free for it for it's it's a demo version. So uh you can uh, you you cannot uh recover you you have to buy the the software and you know get the complete uh, version to finish the recover. But uh, the most important things I think uh, they already show you uh the you know the store procedure. Uh, and she she already gave you the you know the wheel, uh, you know the the script. So um, if you personally you are used as your personal uh, database, so uh, the SQL uh, script is already enough. But uh, I think if you are using for the uh, important you know for the uh, pro professional uh, recovery uh, company, you have to buy the you better buy the you know paid one. And uh, this is the MDF view tools, and uh, we exit, and we show. I show you the next one. Next one is the user assistant. We click it. This application uh, is try to use a uh, system use a file named the system uh, ntuser.dat. This is the system uh, registration uh, files, and it's a uh, uh, record uh, everything. Uh, a record, uh, you know, specific user, uh, in in their uh in their account and using this machine and uh, what time he log in, you know, and what kind of uh moment he did on this machine. So <coughs> it's kind of you know pretty small, uh, pretty small uh, application. You do have to installation. You just unzip it and to somewhere else in your computer and just click it and run it. This that's it's working. It's it's working. Um, so it's fine. So, but the most important things, uh, the for the for the system files ntuser.dat is cannot be seen. Um, uh, you know, uh, in the in the normal uh, normal condition of your uh, of your uh, system files, you have to, uh, you know, uh, you know, s change the setting of the fo uh, folder uh, setting. So you have to go to the control panel and uh, uh, go to the uh, folder uh, option and uh, click the wheel. And uh, there was a one option named. Uh, uh, it's showing in the Chinese word, but I can tell you, tra translate to you. It's uh, uh, hidden, uh, hide protected operation system files. And we uncheck this, and uh, he will warning you of uh, something kind of. Uh, this is important. You don't, you you don't want to do that. Uh, we just click the yes, and uh, we click uh, choose the. Showing the hidden files and anything, and we applied, and then click OK, and then we go back to our my computer, uh, disk C, and here you can see, uh, there are more uh files you can see in the road of the C disk. Uh, there are uh, they are showing as the green, a uh, green color is more uh you know. A kind of invisible, uh, invisible uh, <coughs> folder. So we go to the user, and we click the. I click the one uh, user uh, prof uh, user account for 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 testing this uh, this tool. So it's fine. I, I name it as U R A N, and we click it, and you can see there was the N T user. We click it. Yeah. So this is the. Uh, this is the file we need to use uh, this uh, application to investigate uh, what's happening in this machine and in this user account.
we click the open and uh, I already uh, we go to user and uh, X URL and we find the uh, end user click OK oh he tell me uh, you have to use the uh, administration privilege so uh, we just close it and uh, right click and run as the administrator the system uh, prompt you uh, blah 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 it's okay <coughs> excuse me um, click open still go to user and go to our XUR in and find the NT user and click open see right now magic happen uh, and here uh, you can see uh, it show you the SID user source uh, source file name source index count session and timestamps uh, let's we um, you know order by the timestamps you can see the no, uh, December 5th 2015 at 6 p.m. Uh, user XURN use the the file WRR the exe for six times and uh, he used the user system uh, the exe for four times and he also uh, used the iTunes um, maybe he want to load some you know um, you know music to your iPod you know and he also used the uh, notepad and he always uh, he also checked the you know reservation files he, he maybe want to change some of the registr registration you know files in the, in the system so that will be very dangerous so uh, depending on this uh, information we uh, you know find from this application we can see the u specific user in uh, his use his account and he doing some movement under his uh, on this machine so we can you know assume he want to do something and this will be the evidence to uh, support you to you know to to prove your assu assume okay uh, this is the this is the second tools and uh, and by the way you also can save all the things to the SCV uh, files and uh, you find somewhere and uh, you know just uh, save it and yeah, that's it okay this is the second tool and uh, we close this and the last one is the crown cake wheel crown cake wheel is really really simple you know web browser uh, investigate uh, files uh, application you it's you don't have to install it too. Uh, you just uh, you know unzip on somewhere like the user system and uh, click the double click in that and uh, here it is. Um, it show all the things of the Chrome, my Chrome, you know, uh, browser, web browser and uh, it will show you uh, let's see uh, we try to you know use uh, there was a lot of things uh, show on this application and uh, like uh, URL, file name, content tab, uh, there was some, you know, image, text, and uh, some uh, application, JavaScript, and uh, show you the file size, and uh, the server time, the last uh, accessed, accessed, and the expired server name, server resource, and the cake name, and something, uh, something else. And if you want to see the property of one item, you just choose it, select it, and double click, and you can see the file name uh, and the property of these items. And uh, you can find the last access uh, at uh, December 6, 2015, uh, at uh, 10 p.m., 10.40 uh, 10 p.m. Okay, uh, and uh, you also can, you know, uh, to use this option open link in your web browser and uh, it will show uh, something you know script things uh, here uh, and I think the investigator will uh, use this uh, information to find out the the guy uh, who used the he who uh, what he browsed on the website and uh, what he searched on the, on the Google or somewhere else <coughs> and and uh, you also can see, um, um, you know, 
in, you know, uh, you can uh, choose here, select the cake folder, and you can uh, like, you know, sometimes the people just don't, uh, you know, he has some uh, knowledge of the computer, so he changed the cake uh, folders uh, direction. He, uh, you can use it to uh, find the cake somewhere else, and you can uh, remember folder, and uh, you want to how many days from the last, you know, how many cakes files from the last several days and the load somewhere uh, from from the period, you know, from like, you know, 2015 to 2016, some, something like that. And, um, well, and, uh, but, and you can uh, click one item and uh, save it as the single text file or something else in the somewhere and I give his uh, name we just give it test and save it and uh, you can see here see uh, this file uh, this item his property uh, was saved in the uh, in the notepad and uh, you can um, the user can use it for the you know for the further analysis so it's a very convenient uh, tools and it's very um, very simple and very easy to use and uh, very clearly you can see the you know the information you can understand it so that is my uh, project this is my three uh, forensic tools uh, MDF viewer uh, user assistant and the uh, cake wheels so thank you very much